what's going on, Jam Fam? So for the last couple of days, the sneak peeks for this update have been rolling out. And I'll be straight up with you guys. I worked on videos all last weekend. So uh, yesterday, I just didn't feel like recording or editing or any of that stuff. So I skipped the Miko sneak peeks. So if you guys want to see me do a react to this Miko sneak peeks, I could probably fit that in sometime this week. But today, we're going to be looking at the sneak peeks for Larry and Lori. Now, like I said in my W's and L, Larry and Lori were the two brawlers, well, one brawler, that I was the least interested in. Not that I think they're going to be bad or anything like that. But um, I just am way more interested in Kit and Miko. So as usual, we're going to be doing a reaction to Kairos Times Breakdown of Larry and Lori. Let's see what he has to show about Larry and Lori. Let's see if he sways my opinion on any of the stuff for Larry and Lori. Maybe I'll get more hype about them after the sneak peeks are done. As always, if you're not subbed to Kairos Time, which if you're watching my stuff, you probably are. But if you're not, make sure you go over to his channel. Make sure you watch this video and make sure you subscribe to it. All that stuff's going to be linked in the description. But let's get into it. Let's check out what Kairos Time has to say about Larry and Lori. And let's see if my opinions sway about him at all. All right, let's get into it. Larry's main attack is all right, ticket Alright, so here's dispenser. his main attack. He throws a ticket bundle into the air and... It so he does 1680 damage, which I think is lower than a lot of throwers. I think that's lower than Sprout. It's definitely lower than Dynamics. It's like... I think if you land both of Barley ticks, it's going to be less than that. So it's lower damage for his normal attack. Explodes once on impact. Then a second time. Oh, with a slightly... wow. So it's got it's got a follow up. So you could do 3200 damage with this brawler. I don't know how likely that's going to be on like a moving target or whatever, but that, that's very interesting. And it explodes on impact. So that's pretty nice. It's like it's a different variation of like dynamite. So that's cool. That seems like it's going to be a decent main attack. If you land both instances of damage, it's going to do a decent amount of damage. So um, that looks good. Um, it does seem like it might be a little bit tricky to land both of those instances of damages. So just one on impact is nice, I think. But if you land both, it's really good. All right, now let's see how his super goes. Call for backup. Now, I know this is going to spawn uh, Lori. I think Lori's the backup. I think this is going to spawn Lori here, and then I know Lori chases people down and shoots them with like a rip, with like a griff type attack. Larry's super is call for backup. He throws a signal that summons his twin, okay. Lori, for help. Now, so Lori he runs right in there, huh? shoots them with a shotgun that deals some damage from a distance, but obviously it deals... I don't... It's weird that he, like, hung out here for a minute, and he, like, kept wanting to run back over to Larry... That's that's weird AI pattern, but I don't know. Maybe maybe Kairos will explain that a little bit better. Does more damage up close. Laurie doesn't chase down enemies like Nita's Bear Bruce does, at least not entirely. So he kind of so he kind of it looks like just eyeballing. It looks like he kind of hangs out next to you as as best he can, but he will aggro onto somebody and like get into their face. He moves a little bit from side to side, a little back and forth to try and keep at a distance. Yeah. And I haven't been able to figure out exactly the pattern, but it's definitely unique to Larry. And he actually seems to try and stay between Larry and the nearest opponent. Yeah, that makes sense. That he will so he almost tries to act like a meat shield for Larry and Lori. For Larry. He, like, Lori tries to act like a meat shield for Larry. That's that's interesting. And it, that's definitely useful for you as a thrower. Lori's first gadget is order. All right, so here's their gadget. Order swap. This actually switches weapons between Larry and... Oh, that's so cool that he can switch weapons between between themselves. That's so cool. Ah, oh, what a good gadget. Yo, I'm a big fan of that. That's cool because it changes you in, from a thrower into into the, um, you know, like, I don't know, range brawler, if you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. Griff style, whatever. And then your, bot, your bot's going to be the thrower, which can be a huge nuisance for another team if... The bot doesn't stay like if the bot's AI pattern changes to stay behind you, that's really good. And Laurie, so you get to play with Laurie's shotgun. Yo, that's and pretty good. Larry will become a thrower. I like I could this. Be wrong, but I noticed that when you activate this ability, Laurie, the older bot, his movement patterns actually seem to change up a little bit. Rather than getting up close and personal, to and you respawn with the shotgun. I wonder if you keep you probably keep it until the bot dies, then, huh? Until Laurie dies. That's really good. That, that's it. That's such an interesting mechanic. I really like what they did with this. This is good. Their second gadget is order fall back. When activated, All right. Larry and Laurie actually quickly. I kind of thought this was going to be what the first gadget does. This just switches places between the two between the two brawlers, which can be good if you want to get in a more aggro position. But if you have the thrower, if you have the thrower weapon, why would you want to switch and get into a more aggro position? Unless like. I don't know, say it's brawl say it's brawl ball and you got a team wipe and you want to move up a little bit. Um, but I think most of the time this isn't really gonna make sense to use because you are a thrower and you don't really want to be close to people. 
dash to swap sides, and this will actually heal both of them for 33% of their maximum health. Now this can be used to reposition Lari, or if you want to quickly move across the map. One thing to note though is that you can use this ability even when there is a wall between the two of you. However, you won't be able to travel through the wall and instead- Yeah, this, uh, not being able to travel through the wall, you know, making sure that you always have the thrower weapon. Um, I mean, I guess the only really good benefit of this gadget is the heal, but even then it seems kind of eh. Like, um, unless you want him to come back and heal, like, but when you're between walls or something like that, I, I don't see this being a good gadget to run all the time. I think I would prefer the order or the, the weapon swap and then, um, you know, try to take advantage of that when the situation calls for it. Larry and Laurie's first SAR power. All right, po protocol protect, huh? Is protocol protect. This is super interesting because this will transfer all incoming damage from Larry, the brawler that you're playing, oh. to his older brother bot, Laurie. And this so this seems useful. I think this is a bit of a trap because it seems like for Larry and Laurie, you want to keep Laurie on the map as much as possible. And like, you're a thrower, so you technically shouldn't be taking that much damage, so it can be useful. But Larry's also going to be aggro and taking his own damage. So transferring your damage to Larry seems like it might be a bit of a trap. I could be wrong entirely. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments. But what just seeing this, Larry taking damage over here and then Lori also taking damage on his own doesn't seem like a good situation. Like, because like I said, I think you want to keep Larry on the map as much as possible. And if you're transferring all damage, both the damage that Larry takes and the damage that Lori takes onto Lori, that seems bad. This actually has a few interesting elements to it. Even though projectiles will hit Larry, no damage is actually dealt to him. So this means that he will be able to heal from his natural healing while taking hits from enemies. And that's because Lari is actually the one taking the damage. This basically gives Lari an additional 6,800 HP and could be super useful in some- So that sounds real nice while taking 6,000, you know, getting an additional 6,000 HP. But like I said, you probably want to keep Lori on the map as much as possible, so I don't see this being as useful as it might actually sound. I feel, like I said, I feel like it's a bit of a trap. Their second star power is Protocol Assist. With this star power equipped, anytime Lari, the older bot brother, deals damage to an enemy, Larry, the brawler that you are playing, will reload 30% of an ammo. Now that's not- Okay, so when- Let me run that back. So when Larry attacks, when Lari attacks, Larry reloads. Let me go back. I'm going to rewind this. This seems really confusing. Equipped anytime Lari, the older bot brother, deals damage to an enemy, Larry, the brawler that you are playing, will reload third. This is great. This keeps you attacking all the time as Larry. And it, 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 it rewards Lori for being a little more aggro and protecting you and whatever. So you get more ammo. Lori deals damage. You can deal more damage. This just seems like the better one. I mean, like, yes, getting more HP on Larry might be decent, but like I said, A, you want to keep Lori on the field as much as possible to have that fourth body and have him, have him do damage. And now you can, like, if you have him on the field, you're doing more damage because you have more ammo. So this just seems like the way better star power, in my opinion. 30% of an ammo. Now that's not 30% of the entire ammo, that's 30% of one ammo. This does require Larry and Laurie to be within range of each other, but this can result in Larry getting a ton of additional damage because this procs with ev- And it works with the weapon swap. So if Laurie's doing damage, you're reloading on the shotgun and you can do more damage with the shotgun. I, I like this. I don't, <laughs> I don't see why you wouldn't want to run this one. This one seems way better. Every projectile that Lari hits. Now Lari fires three projectiles and then five projectiles every time he fires with his attack. So if he's close enough to an enemy that all eight projectiles land, that can result in Larry reloading almost three full Wait, wait, wait. So if Lor if Larry has the shotgun. No, if Lori has, I keep mixing them up. Jesus, let me know if you guys are doing this to say too. If Lori has the shotgun and he lands all his projectiles in an enemy, it almost fully reloads Larry's ammo. That's great. I like that. That's good. Very interesting mechanic that works there. Keep in mind that the star power activates even against non-brawler targets. That includes enemy spawns and the heist safe. Wait, this works on the heist safe and enemy spawnables? Jesus. Why wouldn't you run this, Gad? Why wouldn't you run this star power? 
Why, why wouldn't you run it? Why would you run the other one ever? But let's see how strong they are in comparison to every other brawler in the Brawl Stars Olympics. All right, so now he's going to start the Brawl Olympics. I'm going to keep the bits that I think are interesting. I'll cut all the bits that I don't. If you want to see the way everything breaks down, make sure you go check out Kairos Time's video. But I'm just going to show you the interesting parts, in my opinion. And their worst test is the super range test. Next, we have the super damage test. So he ties with 15 other brawlers that do zero damage for 60th place. And we've only done three tests so far, but the rest of the test... So he only ranked in the bottom for like super deploy oh, and range tests, but he only ranked in the bottom for like super deploy tests. And now he's going to be better than half the other brawlers in every other category, which is interesting. I mean, I know that new brawlers are typically strong, but this is kind of crazy. <laughs> Let's see. Larry doesn't get any help from his brother bot, Lori, in this test, but he still does a pretty good job because his attacks are really strong. So Lori won't attack any boxes. So if you play Showdown, shame on you. And also remember that. These are going to be the tests that um, are interesting. Supercharge test right out the bat. Let's see how many shots it takes Larry to charge up his super to get Lori out. Supercharge test. Larry needs to land five hits with his bomb in order to fully charge up his super, so he does need three ammo. So he needs five shots. So he takes five shots to load up his super. That's pretty decent. I think that's about average for, you know, you supercharge across most brawlers. Um, it might be a little bit too quick, but um, the fact that he spawns somebody and the, the, the spawner might die is interesting. I don't know. I think that's fine. I think five attacks for him to charge his super is fine. The shotgun can deal 4,800 damage. Jesus, the shotgun deals 4,000 damage. That's insane. That's so much. Oh, obviously, you're not going to want to walk anywhere near him when he's got a shotgun. But if you get near him and he, sw and he just pulls the shotgun out because he uses his gadget to swap out, that's going to be so annoying, especially for a brawler like Mortis or like Miko that want to be aggro and are going to want to focus on throwers. If he has a spawner down, you need to be aware that he could swap out weapons. So... If you main those brawlers, make sure you pay attention. Up next, we have the reload test. Larry's second star power obviously makes a huge difference in this test, since Larry's hitting the boss with several. So yeah, like I like so like like it's been said many times, he's gonna constantly be reloading when Laurie's feeding ammo into him, and he's just reloading on his own. Of course, he's gonna of course he's gonna be better at this test than every other brawler. Like it, it just makes sense. He's got a star power. It's almost like tick. He's got a star power dedicated to reloading. So, of course, it's, he's going to be better. They deal a total of 35,640 damage. And that puts that... One thing that's crazy, they deal 35,000 damage to this boss. They are going to shred a high safe if you let them get anywhere near it. If these two get... If, if Larry is running up a map and he is going to go to this... If he has a super in hand and he gets to a high safe, like, unimpeded, and it's just him and Larry, Lori hammering a safe you're basically screwed there's no there's no stopping it like i know like spike can do that with his gadget and stuff but like i think larry and Lori are going to be in like insanely good in heist Alrighty, so now kairos is going to talk about how he thinks they're going to perform in games i'm just going to cut the footage here um honestly I'm very impressed with this brawler. I, like I said, I thought they were going to be a little lackluster after seeing their gadgets and their star powers, specifically swapping weapons and um, constantly getting like more ammo from because your bot is dealing damage. Those two combinations is going to be busted. I think Larry and Lori are going to be insanely strong, and I am shocked at how well designed these two brawlers or well one brawler, one brawler. I'm so I'm just I'm shocked how well this brawler is designed. I'm actually very excited for him now, which is like surprising because like. Like I said, I was very low on them, not because I thought they were going to be bad or anything. I just wasn't like impressed by the, the way they showed him in Brawl Talk. After seeing all these sneak peeks, I think Larry and Lori are going to be nuts. Let me know what you think about Larry and Lori down in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed my rambling, if you enjoyed my reaction, make sure you leave a like on the video. If you're new, consider dropping a sub as well. But that's going to do it for this one. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.